So are you going to tell me what's wrong? I want to get a divorce. You want a divorce? Yeah. Any reason why? He's never home. He's always in Juba, South Sudan. For like six months he'll be in Juba to manage his bank activities because he's like um, the founder there. And then six months he'll be in Canada. <laughs> Never really. I feel like six months is too long. I understand that you have to travel for business and stuff like that, but I think six months, it's not fair to a spouse. That's what I believe. I'm glad that you guys made it today. Today is a very important meeting. As you know, I just came, I arrived like a couple hours ago from the Canada. I was originally staying in Canada. And I came here for a You see that guy in that fancy suit? That's my husband, Wani. You see, Wani has a very interesting relationship with Juba. He's always running off when he feels like it. I wonder if she is the other woman. Take care of the company while I'm gone. And making sure the company is going well and is expanding and it's on point, right? And that's the whole point of this meeting today. And I would love to hear from both sides of you, like how you guys feel about the company and what's your vision for the company. It is a pleasure to have you today. Uh, uh, meeting with us. Uh, yeah, we've been there uh, in Canada and uh, yes, uh, regarding about uh, the, the bank, um, uh, I think the Juba uh, International Bank is one of the financial institutions which is uh, a lot of our people are familiar here in the country and I think it has been provided a lot of uh, a good opportunity to many families uh, here in Juba and around South Sudan as well as uh, in the neighbor countries and uh, I think my vision is uh, with uh, to take this company further um, my vision is uh, uh, to start working hard uh, get a qualified uh, people uh, in order to uh, expand uh, the, the bank around the country to have a branch in each one of our city back here, back home. Uh, so one day uh, we can uh, take this company to compete uh, in, uh, at the international uh, level. So, uh, and that I think we can achieve that goal with the hard work and dedication. And uh, the message I can send out there to our people around the, the country and here in Juba as well as the neighbors countries. Most um, women out there think they don't have the right to work at companies like ours and I just want to send a message out there to them that um, we're changing that and we want them to know that um, women can finally be put on a higher level. Well. It was nice to hear from both of you guys. You guys both have some great ideas. And I'm confident one of you guys will be the right person for this position, right? And I'm very confident one of you will be leading this company when I'm gone. And the person that I chose for this company that I think is most fit would have to be a troll, right? And the reason being is I feel like our company has to be different from all the other companies, right? And I feel like our company should be representing everyone equally. And I feel like marketing women right, for this company would be the best thing for our company. And I feel like a troll is a great example for all the other women there. So just showing them that they can do it and they can be in high position, not just like the lower position. And I think she'd be a great fit to represent the company, you know. And I'm confident that she will take the company to the next level. And for that reason, I choose a troll. Well, congratulations, a troll. I guess this is what. 25% look like in South Sudan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wani just came back from Juba. He thought it would be a good idea to take out the girls to try to bond. Let's see how that goes. Man, we are so slow. Get it together. You know what? I really think you should try to be nicer to her. She's doing her best. Can you at least try to be nice to her? Well, our mother used to be a waitress and it was really hard on her. I think you're just being a little bit too rude. So I was cool. Well, I don't
don't think my husband like his new children. Man, why do you look so stressed? What's going on with you? Yo, man, it's my woman, man. She's stressing me out, man. What do you mean she's stressing me like? Yeah, listen, like, what, she what? makes the most crazy decision without my consent. Right. Like what? And she brought these two kids, like two grown-ass kids, to the house without telling me. Right. Two kids? Two grown-ass kids. Why? She told me. Like her kids? Or? Well, it's her, you know, it's one of her relatives. Right? Okay. She brought them in because they got an accident and all that stuff. And that's not an easy thing, right? Not only that, it's just it's a life-altering thing. So, like, what's the problem with bringing to, like, I know you say it's, like, a lot of stress on you, right? No, it's not even that. It's bigger than that, man. She's kind of, like, abusing my trust. She's right? what? Abusing my trust. Okay. Like, that's a big deal, man. How so? Like, she did not tell me that she was doing that. I'm not even mad that she didn't tell me. It's just the fact that the trust, right? We had a trust before this. Now she's kind of, like, so the fact that she didn't, tell, she, she didn't tell you is because maybe she was scared that you were gonna... Regardless, she should still tell me. Regardless, right? Because yeah. we communicate through everything, right? But as lately, she just does whatever she wants, right? Yeah. yeah. But you guys have to work on that though, you know, as a... As you, guys, you guys are in a married I'm relationship. I'm trying, I'm trying, but she's... She's crazy. Crazy? She's crazy, bro. What do you mean crazy? She just does whatever she wants. I can't even. Well, you're the man of the house, bro. You gotta, you gotta control it, no matter what she does. I'm trying to, but she's just trying is not enough. You gotta do it. How am I supposed to do it? Well, talk to her. You know, can't sit do her it. down. Yo, communication is not the best, man. It doesn't matter. Work on it. I try to, you know. I keep trying, but. So why don't you talk to a psychologist or someone? That's something you might consider. You know, I'm trying to work it out. So. So I might consider doing that. Why why consider why don't you just do it? I will. Huh? I will now. I will now. No, but honestly, like, as a friend, man, as a friend of yours, I've known you for over ten years, you know. Right. I know how, how like who you are, you're a great person, you know, you know how to handle situations, right? Right. And I feel that if you talk to her, she'll really understand you. You might say she's crazy right now, but like show her that you can, you know, communicate with her, talk to her, you know, build her trust in you and stuff like right. that, right? Right. Alright man, well I'll give it a shout man, well I appreciate you, appreciate your advice, you know, yeah. I can always count on you, you know, that's why you're my best friend, man. appreciate it man. Yeah, honestly man, I'm here for you man, no matter what. <sighs> Thank you man. Can you please sit down, we want to talk to you about something important. We really didn't want to tell you this because we were afraid. We think that you and Wani have a really complicated relationship. Over time we realized that the communication between you two is not so great. We think that if this continues to go on, things could get worse between the two of you. And we've never told you this before, but the reason why our parents got in that car accident was because they had an abusive relationship due to miscommunication. I mean, it's very obvious that there is tension in the house. Um, we, we will definitely work on it because we want this family to, to be a healthy family. When your parents died, um, I was the only living relative, so I took you guys in. And, you know, me and Wani are grateful to have an opportunity to be a part of your lives. And, you know, the issue between us is very minor. We will definitely work on it. I appreciate you two for opening up and telling me how you really feel. And because of that, me and my husband work really hard to keep his family together and move in the right direction. Hello, uh, we are going to counseling. What a miracle. Maybe World Peace has a chance. Years. Um, I help marriage couple with a problem in their relationship, uh, with their problem out, and hopefully uh, we will work your problem out. So uh, how may I help you two today? Uh, where do I start? Um, well, my wife here, well, I thought with the whole concept of marriage is to work together, unity, right? To make decisions together, communicate, and make short together, right? But she can't do none of that stuff, right? And that's a big problem to me, right? Because I did not sign up for this, right? Wow, so, really? Um, he was gone for six months? in Juba doing God knows why and I had to take care of the kids by myself and I was alone so I mean 
So before you left to Juba for business, did you two uh, talk about it and uh, agree with it? That he can go there or he just took off on his own? He took off. Well, I did not just leave, right? It was a business decision. I had to leave right away, right? And why would you do that? Well, I had to make an urgent business decision. Well, as soon as I landed, I let her know, right? I, I informed her, I was like, well, I had to leave. Well, before I left, we weren't really communicating a lot, like I mentioned earlier, because she just seems to do whatever she wants, because she thinks she can do whatever she wants. There's no wow. communication. He doesn't want to even like own up to what he did wrong, eh? Just look at him justifying his wrong, like, own up to it. You messed up. And I wasn't really ready to be married. Is it really hard to say, by the way, my business is about to fail, I gotta go to Juba for six months? To just get up and leave, I mean... Okay, let's all calm down. Seems like uh, I'm seeing a lot of tension between you two, and, and it's not going to take us anywhere, you know? Unless we find a solution for your problem, and we're all trying to compromise and work things out the best way that we can. Look, she brought two kids, two grown-up kids, the house without my consent, right? And I thought marriage is two people working together, making decisions together. Family is always before the dollar. I took in my sister's nieces. My sister and her husband, they died in a car accident. And I was the only living relative of the twins, and so I took them in. Did you uh, let her know while you was in Juba? Well, she's no longer here with us with her husband. They're both deceased. Um, I didn't tell him. After he was gone for six months, I mean, I, 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 I felt no obligation to tell him anything because, you know, he already disrespected that line of trust. So why would I waste my time telling someone about an important life event when he didn't even think about me when he decided to leave? Well, I think uh, we have two issues that you two need to work on. And the most important thing is communication between you two. And if you want to save your marriage, you know, you want to stay together, it's the best thing that you work out those problems and it will be the best for you and her and the best for her, her children, her uh, sister's children. I understand that uh, she had to take them in because they're no other uh, relative. Now, and she's the only one that can take care of them. Um, it's very important that you two communicate. If you told her in the first place that uh, you're going to give her for a business and she told you that uh, she's taken in her sister twins because she had an accident, you know, you two would have understanding and work things out and you wouldn't be in my, my office right now. And um, I would like you two to go home, you know, and work on your communication for the sake of your marriage, you know, because the reason why you're here is because you want to be together. If you don't want to be together, you wouldn't be here right now to see me. So I can see that it's very important for you to to get together and work things out. Thank you, everybody. Um, it was amazing. Me and him, we went to counseling. It was so interesting, wasn't it? That's great. We're really happy for you guys. I'm really appreciative that you guys took a chance on us and you know actually took our advice and got some help because look at you guys now. We're really satisfied with the outcome. But anyways, we, we resolve our conflict and um, we're really happy that we're working things out. I'm really excited to see what the future brings. Yeah, I'm glad it happened. You know, we worked out for the better. I mean, look at us now. We're in a better place. Don't you ever 
Don't you look in the garden, one come a little, one can a shot along. Some of the other stuff, I'm like, I'm not even.